Hello there. What's going on, everyone? Today, I wanted to do a little channel update to talk a little bit about some of the things that are going to be happening in the future. We did hit 40,000 subscribers, so it's kind of like a celebration time. So we're going to do a couple, uh, a couple of giveaways. Um, not going to do them all in, in in this particular video, although I might I might throw uh, I might throw one out there. So yeah, I actually we'll probably we'll probably do we'll probably do a promo uh, giveaway uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so if you're an Armada player, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, however, a lot of other giveaways are going to be for other things. So um, that's certainly something that's going to happen in this video. Um, Oh, Johnny says, hey, man, how's the blood and plunder stuff? Um, it's coming along. Uh, I primed some of the boats and some of the minis. Um, haven't gotten around to painting them yet because I have to pull out the airbrush to do these. Um, and if you saw this morning, I just started uh, started on the uh, Warhammer 40K uh, starter. So uh, I, I want to use the airbrush for those. We, uh, wow, we got a super chat right away from bleed green productions thank you bleed green for supporting the channel it's almost like you can set your watch by it if i go live bleed green is going to be right there um <laughs> so thank you for that um wow so, all right so let me uh let me go ahead and uh just, like intro with some of the stuff i wanted to talk about there's going to be um i'm going to give you guys some details on the uh, arc trooper giveaway so i was i had if you've been following me for a little while you'll notice that i when ARC Troopers were super, like, water damaged and people's pre-orders got canceled, uh, I was able to secure a couple more. And I said once we hit 40k, uh, we'd be doing some giveaways. And we're going to do that. Now, this is going to be a long giveaway because I want to give a lot of people an opportunity to enter to win this one. Um, and so we've got... Uh, uh, and I also want to give you guys a little, uh, a little hint um, as the things to come in the future. Because uh, we're getting into, we're getting close to fourth quarter. And fourth quarter is a beautiful quarter. Fourth quarter is uh, the most beautiful quarter because of the fact that, I mean, it's the end of 2020. The end of 2020. That's going to be a beautiful thing, isn't it? <clears throat> um, but yes, uh, so, so basically the way these are going to work is um, this giveaway is going to run into Halloween. You have all the way up until Halloween, so you basically have the entire month of October to have an opportunities to win. Now, one way that you can win is by sharing my posts or retweeting my tweets on Facebook and on Twitter. That's easy. That's very, very easy. Um, if you don't use Twitter, well, hey, if you got Facebook, you still have a chance to win. If you don't use Facebook, if you got Twitter, you still have a chance to win there. If you don't use either of those, no worries. You'll also have an opportunity to win by being a subscriber and leaving a comment. Now, this is in addition to the normal giveaways that I have going on. Uh, for Because I still have a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway running almost all the time. Like, those run for about two weeks at a time. And then, like, as soon as one finishes, a few days later, I start the next one. So, that's running right now. That actually started, I think, what, this morning? Um, so the next one just started this morning. Um, uh, Twitter is a social media platform. There's links in the description below where I have, now I don't do these for Instagram cause I really just don't use Instagram. I probably should. Uh, I'm just kind of at a threshold of how many social media platforms I can manage and run and try and promote and create content for all at the same time while also having three kids, a wife and a full-time job. It's a little bit much. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't do Instagram or TikTok or any any of that other stuff. So I'm sticking with just uh, Twitter and Facebook for the time being, and, well and YouTube obviously. So YouTube and Twitter, Facebook. That's uh, that's basically how um, how we're gonna have opportunities to win those. I'll probably announce the winner um, immediately after Halloween, or at least at least immediately after the month of October is over and the month of November begins. And it will be a time for celebration because uh, we are going to also be doing um, the 12 Days of Life Day giveaway during the month of December. Now, this one is a very different giveaway from the ones that I've always done. 
um, because the, and hey everybody that's joining, well I got a super chat from Damon Williams, super chat, thank you for supporting the channel, Damon, I love you man, thank you so much, Damon asks a question, um, oh, I don't know if I can get my thing, alright, there he goes, Ezra Bridger tees for Mando, hope to see Thrawn, um, I'm not, I'm not sure about an Ezra Bridger tease for The Mandalorian. I didn't. Maybe there's something going out on that I haven't seen yet. But um, but yeah, I do think. I mean, there's definitely an opportunity for all of the Thrawn Ezra stuff. I mean, this is Dave Filoni is involved, so and he likes to reuse his assets. He wants to tell his continuing stories. We've already got the Th Thrawn trilogy that's kind of painting the back uh, the back the backstory for uh, Chila. And, and by the way, side question, if you guys have listened to the audiobook for Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising, I thought his home planet was called Cilia, but apparently it's called Chila. Who would have thought? Anyway, well, that's how you pronounce it. Um, so that's going on. Uh, but yes, uh, it's definitely likely that Ezra could certainly show up in The Mandalorian Season 2, um, or at least be kind of, or at least take steps towards that way. Um, they, de You know, like uh, Giancarlo Esposito uh, or is that how I say it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, said that they're going towards um, seasons three and four. So this is going to be at least four seasons for The Mandalorian, which is it's great. Um, and of course, we're getting Boba Fett. Uh, I, I did hear that that, that like somebody confirmed uh, Boba Fett. Whoa, we got a super chat from Brad Spice. I love you. He says, I love your content, dude. You made me get Legion. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the showing some love. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm, 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 thank you for, uh, you know, for playing a great game and, and, and being part of the community. Um, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for that. Um, so let me talk a little bit about um, some of the other things that uh, are, are going on right now. So if you guys have just joined in, um, there's going to be two opportunities to win uh, ARC Troopers all throughout the month of October. Technically starting now, um, but this is going to run all the way through, uh, through October up until Halloween. Since I like holidays, I am uh, making this one a ho Halloween-based giveaway. So there's going to be plenty of time for you to enter to win. So one of them is going to be a social media uh, contest. So by sharing my posts on Facebook or tweets on, or retweeting my tweets on Twitter uh, is one opportunity where you can win. Um, that's it. Either Facebook or Twitter. It's going to be random. It's all going to go into a big, I'm going to pick one, and that's how you, and I'll announce it in November. Once Halloween is over, the beginning of November, I'll announce the winner for that. The other one is going to be a little bit more in line. If you don't use those social media platforms, there's also an opportunity to win right here on YouTube. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It is theoretically possible that somebody could win both of them, the same person. Like if you were to like and subscribe, and, uh, or, you know, if you were subscribed and you also shared something, potentially there's, there's overlap there. Probably not likely to happen, though. Also, um, it really helps if you are a public subscriber because when I sort through people who are subscribed, if you've hidden your subscriptions, I can't verify that you are subscribed. So, um, and, and, you know, there's a setting in YouTube where it says, like, hide my subscriptions or, or view my subscriptions. So if you're a public subscriber, that makes it much easier and increases your chances of actually winning. A, like, from my back end, when I'm going through everything, um, it, it lets me sort. Like, I can filter out uh, and only show people who are subscribed. Uh, but that only can has access to people who are publicly subscribed and puts a little icon next to your name. So it gets you extra special attention. Also, when I'm replying to comments and things like that, people who are subscribed, it like lights your name up. And people who aren't subscribed, it kind of fades you into obscurity and stuff like that. So the only way I can really see that is if you're publicly um, sh sharing who you are subscribed to. All right, so, so two ways to win ARC Troopers, and that's going to run uh, all month long. We also talk, uh, or I also started talking a little bit about the uh, 12 Days of Life Day. So if you guys have been with me for a while, uh, last year I did 12 Days of Life Day in the month of December. Uh, since December is home to many of the great holidays of our planet, uh, it's, it, it seemed appropriate to, to do some type of special giveaways in the month of December. So how is this going to work? Well, this is different. Uh, you still have to leave a comment, and be a subscriber. But you don't have to necessarily do it only in the month of December. This starts 
all throughout uh, time. So basically what will happen is instead of announcing a giveaway, what I will do is 12 random times throughout the month of December, and you won't, you're not sure, you don't know exactly when it's going to be because I don't broadcast the dates. I'm just going to surprise you. So it might be on the first day of December. Maybe on just one hap random video, I'm like, oh, 12 days of December giveaway or 12 days of life day giveaway. Boom. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be like, congratulations, so-and-so. You just left a comment. You didn't even know you were entering to win. And I'm just going to surprise random subscribers who have left comments with 12 mystery gifts. And you don't know which ones they're going to be. Now, here's the cool part. For all of my giveaways, I give people about 30 days to claim them because there are times where there will be a giveaway winner announced and maybe that person didn't watch that video so they did not see that they were announced or that they, they that they were that they won. And usually when something like that happens, in the cases of the 12 days of life day, I have the extra caveat that all of those anything that is unclaimed rolls over to Patreon. So my patrons uh, come like February 1st because I'm going to give you a whole people the whole month of December to, to you know to go back and watch. Uh, fe come February 1st, anything that does not get claimed uh, will then go over to Patreon, and then patrons will have uh, they'll, they'll basically be distributed out to patrons, so patrons will have a chance uh, to to win those things if they would like them. So that's kind of how. 12 days of life day works. Now, if any of, uh, if there's any retailers or anybody out there who's got product that wants to sponsor, like to, you know, throw some, throw a gift in the, in the prize pool, because not all the gifts are predetermined. I'm still, you know, I've got a couple of months yet to kind of prepare and figure out what these 12 gifts are going to be. Uh, there's an opportunity for, for like sponsorships and stuff like that. So if you're like, Hey man, I make these super cool lightsabers and I want to, you know, offer one up to the channel to be a giveaway. You know, then maybe maybe that'll be a cool thing that can happen. So it's real easy to enter to win. Um, you got to watch the videos, though, to see if you have one. Otherwise, you might end up forfeiting your gift, which will go over to Patreon. Now, patrons get to double dip into all of this stuff because patrons can also be subscribers and they can win giveaways normally. But then also there's, there's separate giveaways that happen on Patreon as well as last year. Um, out of the 12 gifts, I think there were four that went unclaimed that went over to uh, to patrons. So that's kind of about the ratio for, for like random giveaways that just tends to happen because not everybody watches everything. And that's kind of just how it works. Um, so yeah, so we're doing a lot of giveaways this year. It's been a really good, um, I guess, year for despite coronavirus. Uh, like we, we managed to hit 40,000. I will say that like video views and things like that were really ramping up early in the year. Uh, last Gen Con was really good. I got a lot of attention and I, I started like really growing subscribers and then COVID hit and like the curve that was going straight up started going kind of like, like this. So still, still going up, but I thought I did some, some, some math and I was on track to hit 50,000 by like November. Uh, but <laughs> you know, it, that's what, like if the numbers, like, as they were, like from like November, uh, December, January, and maybe early February, stayed on track, because um, they were really exploding around that time. Uh, but you know, uh, with so many places being closed and so many people working from home, um, I think there were a lot, a significant portion of people who would watch my stuff at work. Um, at my job right now, I cannot access YouTube. They've blocked it. A lot of people teleworking and, and, and working from home. A lot of companies have blocked streaming services on their on their um, firewalls and stuff like that. So because they need to save bandwidth for remote working employees and things like that. And so I think things like that have cut into uh, the amount of views that a lot of, you know, kind of gaming or casual content creators kind of have. And so I, I, felt, I felt the pain there. Um, however... It's still, there's still been a year, I've still had some growth of like, like a, a slower growth. My, my really, my big long-term goal is to hit 100K and because they, they give you a little YouTube thing, right? They give you a little plaque and I'm like, that would be so cool. Like, and it doesn't really, I don't know, like, it, it's not anything that has a direct impact on the, my life or whatever other than, oh, like, like a little, you know, like I've been working on this channel for years and years and years and it'd be nice to get like a little plaque to hang up in the background or something like that. I think I think that's just a silly little thing that I think is cool. And I'm afraid that 
by the time I get there, YouTube's going to raise the bar and say, no, 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 you know what? Everybody's got 100,000 subscribers now. We're going to change it to you have to have 500,000. And I'm like, oh, you know, like I'm afraid. So I want to get there before they, before they move the goalposts. That's, like, that's kind of my hope. And I know that sounds silly because I know like there's some people that make YouTube channels that get like 100,000 subscribers overnight. And it's like there's certain genres and things that just get there, like video game content, which I am going to do some of, but not because of a bandwagon, but because there's new Star Wars games coming out next week. Star Wars Squadrons comes out. And I'm definitely going to cover that. I don't know how often or how much, but definitely at least at the beginning, we're gonna, I'm going to stream that uh, and, and hopefully. I really hope it's fun. How many of you guys, let me know in chat, and I'm gonna get to some questions and stuff and we're gonna talk some more, but how much? How many of you guys in chat are have pre-ordered Star Wars Squadrons or are planning on playing Star Wars Squadrons during uh, maybe release week? You know, like some, sometimes Star Wars games are cool, sometimes they're, uh, you know, like Battle, I had fun with the Battlefront game. Um, and Jedi Fallen Order was pretty good. I liked that game, but I also get very tired of certain games really, really easily. Waiting on opening day for Squadrons, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of taking the day off when Squadrons comes out just to stream. But who knows? Who knows? They keep shutting down my work because people keep getting coronavirus. So I might have to save my vacation time. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. So a lot of people are looking forward to running uh, or checking out Star Wars Squadron. Not everybody. Not everybody. Um, I got you into... Somebody uh, says, I got you into Marvel Crisis Protocol. Awesome. Yeah, that's a fun game. I really enjoy Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, and Ahsoka are all on IMDb being cast for... Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mandalorian Season 2 looks really fun. It looks really fun. We're gonna do a giveaway um, a little bit uh, in a little bit too. Let me grab some promos. Let's see what we can what we can find. All right, I got got a little. I keep them in a in a box here. Organized play from Fantasy Flight. Ooh. It's really just a cardboard box with a whole bunch of everything I've collected over the years. We're gonna go with. Um, Oh, how about how about some ship cards? Ship cards are still going to be the no. Ship cards are not going to be full size anymore. Ship cards are not going to be full size for too much longer. We've got GR seventy fives. Got some GR seventy fives. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's let's throw a second one into this one. This is going to be a big, big old giveaway. And I'm going to throw another set of these up on Patreon as well. Okay. So if you're a patron, you got double chances to win this one as well. All right. And there's other, actually, there's other giveaways going on on Patreon right now, too. There's Krabok coins are going to go to uh, X-Wing level and higher. Uh, uh, patrons who have been a subscriber for three months. So in December, they're going to get those. Um, so that's a lot of little extra things, like December is a good one. All right, so we got two, two cards. One person is going to win them both. So it's better if you play Rebels, right? Or if you have a friend who plays Rebels. So we're going to get a Nebulon B in a GR-75. Um, this is a Nebula B Escort Frigate. This is the, um, which one is this? Escort is the, the oh yes, this is the your, your carrier, your, your Varus one with the two blue uh, for the flak. And then the GR-75, the more common one with the no guns, the cheaper one. And, uh, and I've actually got two here, two pairs of these. So one will go up on Patreon, one will go out in the stream today. Because I'm like, I'm all about giveaways. I'm, you know, we hit 40K, hit a good, a good number, and uh, it's exciting, and so I'm happy to give back. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about some other things that are going on. Um, let's see, what's going on in the immediate future? We've got, we've got a little bit of a lull, I think. A slight lull right now, because I don't think there's anything coming out immediately in, the, in like the next couple of weeks. We've got, uh, we've got... Star Wars Armada coming... Wait, 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 what is this? Now that you're into Warhammer 40k, what faction will you play since the community needs more Primaris Space Marines players sarcastically? How are you going to flavor your Space Marine chapter? Oh, boy. Um, well, I'm definitely interested in Space Marines. Um, 
I, and I'm sure everybody probably does. I just, I like the models. The models look really good. I like the way the armor, they look like they're going to be easy to paint too. They're very clear edges. So edge highlighting would be a lot less complicated on something like that. Um, they seem very approachable uh, for, for painting. And so that they're at least who I will play first. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to like the game. I don't know how long I will play it for. It really depends. But um, it, that's not my only Warhammer unboxing. I did pick something else up that I'm anxious to unbox. It's still in the plastic. You guys will have to wait and see. Maybe that'll come later this week. Um, but it is going to be um, Primaris related. Or Primrose related. No, Primaris. Primaris? Yeah. Anyway, so it's going to be... Um, I also, based on some of the comments on the 40K video this morning, I did order a little hand drill um, to drill the barrels out. I had never heard of that even being a thing before, of people drilling barrels out in their guns. I've never done that. Maybe maybe it's because the, the Star Wars uh, Legion guns are, are smaller? I don't know. You know, because like 40K is making up their own stuff so they can make like these really big, nasty guns and make it real easy to drill holes in them, but... I think a lot of the Star Wars guns are pretty small. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let me let's grab Rex. Yeah, man. Like, look at Rex's. Rex's guns are really tiny. It'd be hard to drill bore holes in in those things. I don't know. Maybe there's some some guns would probably be easier than others. You know, especially some of the bigger like ion weapons and the some of the heavy weapon guys. That could be a possibility, but uh, but no, it's 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 fun. Um, we've got we've got a couple other games to look at. So somebody talked about Blood and Plunder. Uh, there, so if you guys have saw my Blood and Plunder stuff, dude, it's a cool looking game. We've got big old ships. I've still got to assemble the. I got to paint these. I got to assemble the rigging. But they sent over a couple things. I actually have two ships, and this this makes me think, why hasn't Legion made skiffs yet, or like boat type things, like have sand skiffs that are hovering over and have actual stations. I, I think Legion needs interactable, interacting stations. It, even if it's not for tournament play, even if it's just for a really fun thematic mode of playing, call it the sand skiff mode, where if you've got jump, you can jump from one to the other. Um, if not, you can, you know, if you're like within a, like a certain amount of a range, you can just try and, you know, like, you know, walk the plank from one to another. Um, but literally have this, like, imagine if this was the sand skiff in Legion, and if the, the cannons were, like, here and here, and if you guys, if you're touch, if you're in base-to-base -base contact with the cannon, you can take an action to fire the cannon. If you're in base-to-base -base contact with the control or the steering wheel or, you know, whatever, you can drive the thing and maybe move it um, like a tank. You know, like, like uh, why, don't, why don't we have stations or, 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 or stationary turrets? I mean, yeah, you kind of do, right? You have the 1.4 FD turret and you have the e-webs and stuff like that. But how about an unmanned e-web? Why can't we do that, right? Thanks for the He-Man video the other day. It was an Insta-buy. Um, okay, yeah, so I want to talk about that also. I've got this uh, up here behind me. So when I made this video, I didn't realize that I did not know that you could not get this if you're in the United States. So if you guys are Masters of the Universe fans, I apologize. And I had to put something in the comment. I pinned a, a pinned comment. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I did not know that you could not get those in the, uh, because they sent it to me. There was some stuff that happened with Archon. Um, like I've done some reviews for them before I did the Wolfenstein game, a Kickstarter video. And because like when you're doing a, a, a review, if somebody sends you something to review, you didn't purchase it. So it wasn't for sale to you. So sometimes they can get around like stuff like that. Um, I went on their website and I saw that the kicks, like the game would only be released in, in Europe. But I didn't think that meant that the miniature itself would only be released in Europe. And I don't also wasn't sure about the Kickstarter itself. So I put a link in that video. There's a, there are like um, proxy things where you can order it and have it shipped to a company. And then that company will then take it and ship it to you. So it's technically like there's, um, you know, there's other companies that can do that. But yeah. And so I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to be if Simon's game is going to be, like, which one's going to be better? Which one's going to be worse, right? Because I grew up watching Masters of the Universe. Um, Thundercast was my favorite, but Masters of the Universe was number two for, like, my, my, my Saturday morning cartoons. 
Um, and if somebody ever makes a Thundercats product that's not available in the United States, I will buy a plane ticket and I will fly over to Europe and I will buy it and it will fly back and it will cost me like $2,000 for one board game. No, I probably won't go through that much. I'll probably just, you know, eBay it or something like that. But yeah, um, like Thundercats is like my holy grail of having a really awesome miniatures like based board game or something like maybe like Rebellion, just a really good board game. It doesn't have to be a mini wargaming game type experience um all right so i missed a couple of comments let's see um any good paints for legion oh my goodness yes there's quite a few citadel works very well uh vallejo is my probably favorite brand uh green stuff world has good paints um and there's there's, there's quite a few more there's also legion specific paints uh that are made by the army pen painter um yeah hello from maryland uh love your videos especially the legion unboxing videos um, they have helped guide your wallet. Awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm bumping my camera here. All right. Um, so if you like Blood and Plunder, Oak and Iron. Yes. Oh, well, Oak and Iron. Come on. We're going to be doing an Oak and Iron video pretty soon. Yes, yes. They, um, they actually sent me, Firelock Games sent me Oak and Iron and a couple of expansions. I haven't opened up everything yet. But that is, that is on, that was something I was going to talk about. Um, that's on the, it's on the uh, agenda for things to cover. So once we hit, since we hit 40K, we're kind of branching out and kind of exploring a couple more games. Um, and that's going to be happening. Um, Blood and Plunder, by the way, has a Kickstarter coming up, uh, I think October 6th, so very soon. Um, and some people in my video said, you know what, I don't like that there's metal miniatures and that the resin boats are like expensive or something like that. And, and some of the boats are, I mean, they, like on like the Galleon, it, it's huge, man. I, Oh, I really like that. But in, it's going to be expensive. It's like $300, you know? I'm like, for a game I'm probably not going to play as much. Like, I'm like, it's not going to be... My, my my top three are X-Wing Armada and Legion, right? I don't know if Blood and Plunder is going to... You know, like, it's well, it seems awesome. I don't think I'm going to be able to play it all that much. Um, and I don't know if I can really justify throwing $300 down on a boat like that. Um, looks awesome, though, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I can use some boats for, like, Legion terrain. Like, maybe... Uh, the Empire descends on, like, a, a primitive planet that's, like, out of fishing. Like, they still have pirates and stuff like that. Uh, Blood and Valor is, like, Blood and Plunder, World War II. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the name Blood and Valor, but I don't know much about it just yet. But but I'm excited to, to do some painting on that stuff. Um, Jess says, uh, or Jesse says, giveaways are cool, but the content itself, uh, thank you, is, is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I, 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 and that's what I hope to do. I hope that I'm making useful content. Um, I'll say this. It's, it's, been, it's been rough over the years, um, increasing the volume in which I put stuff out. Um, I, like it, it didn't used to be daily. It used to be um, once every couple of weeks. And I remember one time I went like two or three months without putting anything out. And some people were like, are you still alive? I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I should put stuff out a little bit more regularly. And it just started ramping up and becoming, like, it's fun. It's definitely fun making, like, one of my favorite things, oh, and this is cool, too, is doing, like, battle reports and getting, like, those really good pictures. Like, getting that shot that, like, shows the minis in all of their glory. Uh, because that's why I love about these games. They're beautiful games. And so some of the things that I really, really love are, are terrain for Legion. And I've got some terrain that I'm going to be taking a look at. Uh, so make sure you guys, if you guys like cool terrain and awesome battle reports, I've got some fun, fun stuff coming up very, very soon. Uh, we've got the hero only battle mode. Uh, that is going to be going live, I think, this coming week. Um, and that's going to be the heroes versus villains alternate format. That one went live a few weeks ago early for patrons. Uh, so you know, the rest of you guys are going to be able to get a look at that. Uh, and then we've got some some new terrain that has been sent. Uh, I always really enjoy reviewing terrain because not only do I get to make a video kind of talking about the terrain, I then get to use some of that terrain in a battle report also, which is super fun. And uh, and and so I look forward to that. Um, yeah, but uh, we also are in a little bit of a lull right now because I think we somebody asked me. I don't know if it was in this video or if it was. Um, elsewhere but uh when are anakin and maul and those guys coming out for legion i think those are coming out closer to the end of the year i think we actually have like a like a, a i think we have a little break with legion content going on right now like everything that was supposed to come out is out with the exception of 
Arc Troopers, all right, uh, and, and, and Phase 2 clones. But everything that was supposed to come out has come out. And uh, I think we have a little bit of a break until we get some more stuff. I mean, I might be, I might be wrong about that. Maybe it's not, maybe it's, is it November? But I feel like we've got at least a month until anything else comes out. Uh, X-Wing has got, like, Wave 7 just came out. But Wave 7.1 has got a couple of weeks, I, I, I think. I don't know exactly. Why. Off the top of my head, I don't know when it comes out. Marvel Crisis Protocol. I see a couple guys talking about Marvel, Marvel Crisis Protocol. I've got more stuff that I still have to finish painting. Uh, I did my unboxings for those. I got Doctor Strange and, and Ghost Rider. I... I had so much fun trying to figure out how I was going to do Ghost Rider because, like, did I want him on a speeder bike or did I want him in it? He fit perfectly on an ATRT, Perfectly. But I'm like, God. No, because someday I'll probably want to use him in a tournament. Somebody will give me a hard time saying, hey, that's not an official model. And I get it. I get it. Um, but I think Enchantress and um, Angela were, like, had an early release in some parts of the world. So some people are posting pictures of those painted. Um so yeah, that's that's the thing. Somebody also asked about, are you gonna do um, any terrain for Blood and Plunder? Yeah, um, I, I, I picked up an extra sheet of foam. Boop. And I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, what I'm thinking of doing is just getting my foam cutting tools and kind of having this be like the corner of a map and just going like a, you know, kind of like that. Um, getting like a shoreline. And I don't have to even do a whole board because the rest of it, can be ocean, right, right? And then the, some of the, out of my excess pieces, I can use some of that to make like a little bit of elevation on the land. And then a couple of other pieces can be like little standalone islands or, or, or rock outcroppings. And, and so, we, you know, the boats have to move, move around some things. So I feel like that'll be pretty easy. Then it'll be fun kind of painting it um, and, and, and doing some stuff like that. Um, so I am looking forward to that. Also, because it's a pirate game, I'm gonna use some Monster Fight Club stuff to do to build docks. Um, hold on. Speaking of Kickstarters too, Monster Fight Club sent me a bunch of stuff to look at, and I feel like these will work pretty well, like these these, these things. Uh, we, we've used these in a couple of videos, uh, and, and I also did a review. Uh, Pre-painted terrain, by the way, from Monster Fight Club. Really, really cool stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it. But something like this would be a perfect docks to just have going into the water. Right? I can even stand it up and put it on that. Boom. Got my docks right there. Done. Um, but another thing that's cool is I got a bunch of old D&D &D terrain um, uh, from, from, from multiple different Kickstarters and things that I've backed. Um, and then I've got things like barrels and treasure chests. And those are perfect for a pirate game. Barrels and treasure chests? I mean, come on! It's, I got a lot of those. So I can put some barrels on the docks. It's, have you guys ever played Sea of Thieves? It's awesome, and 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 so um, you know you got you got your cover and stuff like that, and you got guys hiding behind barrels and you know all kinds of stuff like that. So so I think that'll be I think that won't be that won't be too hard. Um, you know I don't have a, a water based play mat yet, but they're in oak and iron. They give you a play mat. It's just a vinyl one. So I don't know if I'll want to use that or if I you know I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for the play mat. I still have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else is what else is new. Um, it's too early to talk about some stuff for next year. I've got some cool things planned for next year. Um, Hasbro just did a uh, you know because I, I cover collectibles also, and you know the lightsabers and the helmets and all kinds of stuff like that, which I love. Um, Hasbro just put out their uh, their their online convention. They revealed a bunch of new stuff. Um, Jar Jar Banks is finally getting a Black Series figure. I stopped collecting the Black Series. I wanted to do more with action figures and stuff, but nobody was watching those videos. And I was running out of room. You know, if I want to also be a board game channel, I can't also have multiple shelves with like 500 Black Series figures posed. I mean, I would love that. Maybe if I get a bigger house someday, if I actually, you know, if I actually make it. If this YouTube thing pans out, you know, I would love to have like a whole studio, like half of it's gaming, half of it's toys. Like that's, oh, that's the inner child. That's me not wanting to grow up. They, they used to say that in the commercial. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid, right? Um, but that would that that would be the dream. But I can't, you know. I, so, I, but by the time that happens, all the black all the black series figures that I want will be uh, out of print. Um, 
Yes, the, so do you think that Jabba's ship, the Katana, would be a good fit ship for Armada? No, it's a ground-based vehicle. I don't, I don't think so, that'll work for Armada. But I would love it in Legion. I would love skiffs. I would love a skiff battle in Legion with people actually jumping from ship to ship. You know, like, um, like structures. Um, Game-based structures with rules where you can interact. Like an unmanned turret or stations where you can drive something. Like physical drivers. Like I would love, love, love that. And if they don't do it, maybe I'll do it myself. You know, like I, I think there's a six-inch um, uh, skiff for, for, for Armada. Or no, for not for Armada, for for the Black Series, that for the uh, three and three quarter inch figures, that would probably work perfectly for Legion. So I have to look that up and see. That would be a fun one. And just put it on a base. It'd be uh, it'd be amazing. It'd be really amazing. Um, but yes, um, let's see. Oh, Sandcrawler for Legion. Wow, you guys have a lot of really big aspirations. And I know that sounds a lot me saying that. Some people have asked me about um, Double Critical podcasts, like when is that coming back? Uh, we're having some technical difficulties with trying to make that happen right now, so that's uh, on a little bit of a delay. It's not canceled, though. Um, we're just uh, trying to figure out what the next steps are going to be, so that's just on a, it's just on temporary hiatus. It's not, it's not permanently gone, so don't worry about that. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> We talked about, all right, so I, I want to recap a few things for those of you guys who are joining late. Um, so the, the, the giveaways, the ARC Trooper giveaways are going to be running all throughout the month of October. So and they'll, the winners will be announced in November, early November, probably November 1st or 2nd. Right? Um, and the way that that's going to work, there's two ways to win. First way is simple, it's just being, uh, being a subscriber and leaving a comment. You've got to be a public subscriber, uh, so, and that's... Again, if you're if you're if you hide your subscriptions, I have no way of knowing if you're a subscriber or not. So I can't, you know, I can't even include you in the selection process. Uh, and then the other thing is, um, the other way to win the other one is to be uh, sharing a post on Facebook or retweeting a tweet on Twitter. So if you follow me on the show, those social media platforms, again, there's gonna be links down in the description below. Uh, click that little see more. You're gonna see more of that stuff. Uh, that is one way you can get access to, or you can just search for Crabock on Facebook and or Twitter. Um, and uh, if you follow me there, you be able, you can share stuff, retweet stuff. Um, those are all going to get you uh, entered to win the other one. In, in theory, you could potentially win them both. Um, anything that's not claimed, like if some if somebody wins one of these and doesn't claim it, it will roll over into the. Uh, Christmas giveaway, or I should say the Life Day giveaway, which is going to be 12 days of Life Day. There'll be 12 days during the month of December where I just pick a random subscriber who has commented on a video and they will win a prize. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what prizes they're going to be. Uh, any companies out there looking to sponsor content on the video, this is an opportunity to reach out to me and say, hey, we want to give, uh, we want to throw out some prize support for the 12 days of Life Day giveaway. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of attention. I th last year, it was this was a big hit in December. We had, we had a, a huge amount of views. This was skyrocketing. Um, I like December. Last December was incredible as far as views. Because uh, I think a lot more people were wanting to see, you know, what was going to be given away. Because anything that does not get given away uh, during the twelve days, um, or anything that does not get claimed, will roll over to be Patreon give uh, gifts. So patrons will have a chance to win whatever doesn't get claimed normally. Now patrons already can be subscribers and, and and enter to win normally as well. So there's lots of opportunities to win things, uh, and that's kind of how it works. You know, if you don't, if something gets unclaimed, it gets rolled over. So uh, that's uh, and that's a fun way, fun way to do. It. I don't want to keep all this stuff. I've already got enough arc troopers. I don't need. I don't. I don't need these. I can, I got no use for them. I've got, I got three because my store I ended up getting a buttload of them in. And so I didn't uh, want them to end up on eBay. So I picked up some more, and I'm giving them to you guys. Um, is there a specific video in which you have to comment? Great question. No. Uh, you can comment on any video. Now, I will say this. Um, usually, if I pick, if, if there's a, if, like, if, you know, I'm going through to pick, I'm going to skip over, like, really bad comments. Like, if somebody just says, like, comment, I, I, I take some administrative privilege in when I pick some of these. So I'm going to skip over really awful comments. Or if you're mean to somebody else, I'm disqualifying you. 
and that's just how it works. Um, and that's you know that's some that's just you know that's just me taking some privilege and saying no, no, I'm not going to I, I'm not going to encourage bad behavior. Um, so you generally you know general rule of thumb is you have to at least try to have a com like you don't have to comment on every video. You certainly don't. Um, I, I, as much as I do want people to watch more videos, you know, like part of the giveaways is also meant to grow the channel, and so. My goal is hoping that, hey, by doing this giveaway, that you're more incentivized to watch more videos. Maybe maybe you watch an X-Wing video. Maybe you watch an Armada video. Maybe that gets your interest. Maybe you're, now you're considering a different game that maybe you wouldn't have earlier, right? I'm trying to grow the hobby, trying to grow the channel, uh, and, and, and also get more, more clicks and more views. And like that, that's just good because that just helps you grow. The more videos get views, the more they get shown to other people. And it's just, it, it, it's, it's like a, it's, it's like a snowballing effect. So that's kind of the momentum I'm trying to ride. Um, and so, and it works both, you know, it works in a lot of ways like that because I also, it fosters community by getting people to comment. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be a top level comment. You can reply to someone else's comment that also absolutely qualifies you to enter. So by having a discussion going, you're entering to win. So by getting involved and becoming part of the community is a great way to build a community and to enter you to win. If you're interested in the community aspects also even more, there's you can also check out Discord. How many of you guys uh, have never you know used Discord before? It's really easy. It's just a web browser. They also have an app for it for your phones and stuff like that. But it's a chat room basically and uh, there's lots of them. Like Anybody can set, you can set up your own. I mean, uh, you know, but it's, it's a little harder to get a lot of people to, to join and stuff. But, but yeah, so we have a, a Discord with channels for lots of different games. X-Wing, Armada, Legion, video games, movie chat, you know. Uh, I also archive a lot of my older videos that I think would be useful to certain people. Um, there's links to them. There's channels called like, a, there's a video library section. Um, so like if you're just getting into Legion and you want to watch some tutorials or, or informative things or like what to buy first videos and stuff like that and you don't want to search YouTube for all of that stuff, I have sections for all things like that. Um, I have sections for battle reports. If you just wanted to see, hey, you know, I want to watch a game of Armada today. I have, when is the next X-Wing bat rep? Um, soon, I, I know, I, we're not, and I, it's, it's a tough time right now. I know some people are getting together. Some people are not getting together. I'm not um, going out to stores and, and I'm you know, minimizing my social contact right now. So my X-Wing battle reports have all been in Fly Casual. I've been using that. Uh, I really enjoy that. Um, and I'm looking at, I think a new version just came out or something like that. So I've got to do some updates. Uh, but I'll be probably working on another X-Wing battle report within the next week. Um, so I don't know if it'll be out within the next week. But we'll be trying to, and also trying to pick a fun list that's going to demonstrate something. You know, I, I, I've, I've been playing Fly Casual a little bit more. Um, I've been trying to, because some people have criticized, like, hey, man, you're making a lot of mistakes in your X-Wing uh, games. You really don't know the game very well. And I'm like, all right, that's fair. I've made some mistakes when playing X-Wing. I've become rusty in, in my X-Wing play uh, because there's so many new factions now. I've, you know, I've been, pl I've been playing only clones, or I'm saying only Republic, uh, in, Persil, in person. And so when going up against, you know, when using like a whole different, like, hey, I'll, I'm going to run uh, Separatists today. Like, I'll forget a lot of their interactions or whatever. And, you know, that's it, that's a sign really of X-Wing being so big. Like, there's there's a lot to X-Wing. And, you know, some if you play X-Wing, focus on it exclusively, then it's probably easier for you. But because I branch out so much, X-Wing's starting to get pretty pretty complicated like legion starting to grow it's a pretty big sizes too i somebody says i would love a fly casual for armada you and me both i think that's one reason i'll be honest with you i think that's one reason why my armada coverage has been able to stay a lot more consistent um and and thorough is because there is only usually one new release per year if you're trying to stay on top of a game and don't want to be overwhelmed by constantly new rules and constantly new keywords and constantly new upgrades and constantly new mechanics, Armada's a pretty darn good game. Um, to a lesser extent, so is Marvel Pri Crisis Protocol because Crisis Protocol doesn't have new rules all the time. It's just every new character is its own rule set. But if you don't, like if you have like a, a team you like to play, you could just buy like a, 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 once you get complete that team, you could just be like, I'm done. I don't need to buy anything else. That's pretty cool. Um, 
I've been buying everything. I might have to stop with Crisis Protocol um, because, like, at a certain point, at a certain point, they're going to start creating characters that I'm just not as hyped about. Like, I'm not really hyped about Kingpin. Um, I like Daredevil, but I don't I, like. There's something about like the the street level heroes and the defenders that just don't excite me. And I don't I don't know how much farther I'm going to go with 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 doing everything. For Marvel Crisis Protocol. Additionally, because some of the bases for a single character are this big, and I'm running out of room for storage. I'm almost out of room. Um, you know, and so it's like, and then I have to start making decisions like, hey, do I do I get rid of my helmets to make room for more games? You know? And so like I have a I have a set amount of room, and at a certain point, some things are gonna have to go. Uh, all right, so we're going to do a giveaway. Um, if you guys want these Armada promos, if you're an Armada lover, you want some Armada promos, uh, one person's going to win both of these. Uh, go ahead and uh, do a hashtag Armada and let me know your favorite rebel um, hero or commander. Who's your favorite rebel? Yeah, let me know in the chat. Do not enter multiple times, please, because I'm just going to pick one person. Also, while that's happening, anybody who would like another chance to win, these are going to go up on Patreon later today. There's, I have two sets. So one for you guys, one for Patreon. So there we go. Um, all right, our winner. Let's see. Um, that's going to be Joe Sprofera. I hope I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. Joe Sprofera. With the uh, Lando. Good for you, man. Um, congratulations. Uh, go ahead and shoot me an email, and I'll get you, uh, I'll get these out to you. I uh, just need your shipping information. And, uh, you know, it's mailcrabock at gmail.com. And, uh, and we'll get those squared away. We'll get you squared away. And if you forget that, it's just, you can find it on the About page of my, uh, my YouTube channel. And we'll get you guys squared away. All right. Um, now, anybody else, if you just joined, the big takeaways from this video is two chances to win ARC Troopers. Be a subscriber and leave a comment. Or share social media posts of mine on social media, like sharing Facebook posts and or retweeting tweets on Twitter. Uh, that's another way for you to win. Um, these are gonna, this is going to run all throughout the month of October. Uh, so you can... Do things like uh, start now, and you got a whole month. Um, in November, I'm going to announce the winner for these. Then also in December, we're doing 12 Days of Life Day again. If you guys are familiar with it from last year, it's uh, at 12 random days in the month of December. I will just pick people who are subscribers and who have left comments, and they're going to get some kind of holiday gift. Might be something really good, might be something even better. You'll have to see. And then we got a lot more content coming. Um, you know, there's more Blood and Plunder coming. They have a Kickstarter coming out soon. Uh, we're going to do some Oak and Iron. We're going to do some more 40K. We're going to do some more Terrain. Um, maybe some, even some more Kickstarter stuff. There's some Kickstarter. There's a lot more Kickstarter stuff that I, I well, like a couple years ago, I, back, I used to back a lot more Kickstarters than I do now. And and those are, those are, always, uh, those are always fun because they come in so much later. Like we just did... Um, what's the recent one we did? Uh, Marvel United. Like, that's a really fun, it's a cute game, man. I really like it. It's, it's, it's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. And, uh, you know, and that one has a lot of other stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's super fun. All right, guys, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out today. This has been a pretty good, uh, live stream. And, uh, thank you for the, uh, the interaction and, and the questions, and uh, thank you for the super chats. Uh, everybody, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for all the channel members uh, that we were that that I saw. I saw those special, uh, those special little symbols by your names. It's the, this little rank. The longer you're a channel member, the bigger your your little rank symbol gets. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I will uh, I will see you guys soon. And uh, oh yes, uh, enjoy football. I, I enjoyed it yesterday. UCF Knights, 2-0, charge on, go UCF. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Have a great day.